Hi, everybody. So first of all, thank you for this heartwarming, really beautiful movie, because I think everybody needs that in times like that, you know, something uplifting and beautiful. And then I thought, unlike Didi, especially James and Meryl, as I already talked to you, you don't take your celebrity so serious, you know? Like James, you're one of the biggest pranksters in the world. Would you dare to prank on Meryl, for example? You pranked <laughs> everybody. <laughs> um, I don't consider myself uh, a, a complete prankster, but, um, you know, look, maybe this question is all a sort of reverse psychology. There is a good chance that Meryl's being pranked right now for my show. <laughs> and, you know, who knows? And I think it's important to keep, to keep everyone on their toes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's just like, you know, it's so nice to have humor also because I know that Meryl was pranked and she and Brad Pitt by George Clooney, right, Meryl? What happened? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I, I know that that happened, but I can't remember the prank <laughs> um, because it, it wasn't that. <laughs> so James it's on you now to do a good one <laughs> you know give me some time we'll play a long game <laughs> <laughs> so um when I when I saw the movie I also thought you know this um whole idea about the prom in Europe it's not as big as in the states right mm -hmm. um do you have a great memory to your own prom or wasn't that so important um, maybe I start with Joellen. Sure, yeah. No, I I must, I remember what I wore. I wore this really pretty um, red off the shoulder dress that I had rented and I went with friends um, and we just had a fun time and danced the night away. But it was truly nothing compared to the final prom in, in our film. <laughs> uh, Meryl, what, do you remember it? Was it so important to you? Um. I went to a lot of proms um, because in my high school, they had a junior prom and a senior prom. And so there was four years. So I went to eight proms and after my senior year, it was just so <laughs> uh, But no, it, was, it was really fun. The first time I had a, a wardrobe mishap. So that was uh, troublesome, but um, Yes, it's a weird thing, and I I wonder is there what is there in Germany? Is there anything like like a, a formal? No, we do have that, but it's not so important with whom you come on, what you do, and you yeah. can drink already at that time. I think in the states you you commit your first illegal thing, right? <laughs> and James, how was it for you? Well, we we don't, as you say, because uh, you know I'm grew up in, in Britain, yeah. so we didn't have um, proms as such. We would have like discos and probably what you call like a Valentine's ball, but it really was never about who you were gonna go with. Like I just remember going along with a group of my friends, um, you know, and then I remember like one of my friends made that mistake of drinking too much too soon. So he was kind of out of the game before we even got there, you know, that's that's a little look into uh, my youth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what they don't, yeah, what they don't tell you about prom is that most high school kids in, in America go to prom so that what happens after prom, because that's when you really go nuts. Because after prom, <laughs> you stay up all night. And uh, in my high school, kids would drive two and a half hours to the beach and watch the sun come up and um, get in trouble. Wow. I get in trouble. So um, now holidays are coming up for everybody. It's different this year as of Corona, of course. How you, as I have you on already, Meryl, um, how are you going to celebrate this year? Well, with uh, for Christmas, it's, it's very still up in the air with my family. My brother just called me today because in, in the United States we have Thanksgiving and that's 
um, next Thursday. And um, they just called and said they're not going to come. <clears throat> so we're, we're all sad. And But I understand uh, people have different health concerns and it's, it's just uh, an act of love to hold off until next Thanksgiving. And we hope that'll be, that'll be the one that we really have to celebrate because as far as I'm concerned, 2020, goodbye. You know, let's get rid of it. <laughs> James, you also want to go and buy, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we, we historically have always, ever since we moved to America, we've always gone home at Christmas to see my family. We're not sure if that's going to be possible with sort of not completely ending the hope of that just yet but uh yes we'll see how that goes but you know I'm, I'm with Meryl like there's a really brilliant song by a band called Smith and Burroughs who have a song called When the Thames Froze and it ends with uh, a lyric that says the years go by so fast let's hope the next beats the last and mm. I feel like next year has a genuine <laughs> chance of actually doing that. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Just think of the happiness that'll be unleashed when we when we really do um, get on top of this. Yeah. I think what we're going to do, all four of us are going to get in your car and we're going to drive two and a half hours to the beach. Is that the right <laughs> Get drunk. Yeah. Drunk. Yes. Yay, let's do that. So happy holidays, everybody. Sorry, Joellen, I have to wrap uh, four minutes. I'm sorry. That is Thank okay. You, Thank you. Bye.